What we taught today was a class called Residential Fire Rescue. And that class is based on uh, a new book released by Penwell Publishing that uh, I was one of the authors. And it focuses on how we rescue civilians from residential structures when they are uh, on fire. So we taught the group today uh, some basic uh, skills as far as how to uh, do some drags and some carries of civilians in different positions as far as how we find them going to the exit point. We taught them also some different tactics in rescuing as well as such as uh, vent tenter search. And we also um, rehashed uh, a little bit of the basics as far as search techniques. Uh, different types of search techniques such as oriented search, uh, tick assisted which is thermal imaging camera assisted and then traditional search method as well. He had the belief of the more you practice that skill physically, hands-on, the same way all the time, the more you become proficient at that skill over time. And when it comes time to do the real thing uh, on, on the fire ground at the real call, that skill becomes second nature. So the more you do it hands-on, the better you become. And you, almost, you gotta look at also such as like a professional athlete. Uh, a football player, hockey player, they practice every day physically, practically for that game and that makes them better day as, as the day goes by. So for the fire service, we have to also practice the skills every day to get ourselves proficient and better at that skill as days go on as well. So the intensity from today was designed to um, show the, the importance of how rescuing a civilian is not easy. It's a lot of hard work and it does take a team effort and sometimes teams to get one person out of a structure as far as an unconscious uh, occupant. And second of all is to add that stress factor as well to make them realize that this is not just a walk in the park. So the intensity helps to uh, duplicate the real conditions that they're going to face down the road sometime. Yeah, a lot of this does generate a lot of questions of curiosity as well as sometimes clarification on their, on their behalf. And that's where the learning really kicks in because now they're realizing, I just did a skill this way and now I'm thinking in my mind, how could I improve it or done it better or done it different, differently for the same result. And now they're thinking and learning. And that's how we really want to reinforce it to them that by doing it, they get to realize what does work and what doesn't work. And in essence, trial by error but do it again and again and again in the practice sense. So when it comes time for the real situation, they know in real life, I'm doing it this way and it's gonna work for me. But if it doesn't work, I can default to that way, that way, and that way, which I've already tried before, yeah, it may work. If the department had a wish list with unlimited cash, let's put it that way, they should be every week doing something like this, whether it's four hours a night, once, once every week, or maybe one weekend like this every month, but it should be on a regular and consistent basis. What we find mostly is, usually in a volunteer department, you're gonna have that dedication from the majority of members within that organization, and the ones that are here like this weekend, for example, are your true, your true firefighters, because they're here, they're putting the time in of 12 hours on the weekend that they could be someplace else doing who knows what, that could be more fun than being here. And this is your true core. And hopefully, hopefully the true core that's here will uh, will spread this to the other members. And that's where you kind of can root out those who shouldn't be in an organization. Perhaps is doing intense physical training because this job is intense physical activity in a short burst of time, and it happens at a moment's notice. And if you can make training intense and realistic to the point where it duplicates the actual. Uh, fire ground, they may realize that this is not, I'm not cut out for this kind, of, this kind of physical work. So perhaps I may take a different role in the department, maybe something a little less physical. At that point. So it does help a department chief or training officer to uh, conduct an analysis, in, in essence, of their personnel and help personnel realize themselves and self assess. Am I still able to do this job? And if I can't, maybe I got to reconsider what I can do and can't do.
www.firestarservices.com.